lose on the I mean, it, 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 on, guys, I mean, it's, 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 it's just it's just our it, it's just our need for order. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what do we got here? As we said, we got some Sword Boys with uh, Lucina and Shulk. Shulk going immediately into the Speed Monado. Oh yeah. Being a fast boy. So one thing Tanak really does well is he's ooh, oh is he a, okay yeah, he that just took nice, him with him yep yeah nice gimp. Tanak really likes hitting those uh, rapid jabs um, oh yeah just locks him in place for the wolf to come up and just try to get a beefy oh, yeah. hit and and as we all know wolf F smash down smash up smash they hit like a truck something just happened like a. Uh uh, okay. Yeah, it, se it seemed like uh, the audio died out for a second. All right. A little difficulties, but oh, but, all right. Tanner losing his second stock already. While uh, Shulk still oh, yeah. yeah, holding on to his third with pretty good percent. What do you say it was the? Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like you said, down, down, down to his last stock. I was, I, I say his like his full rush down, his rush down strategy, like unfortunate, like it is great, but it leads him to get just run into four smashes. And yeah, when you got <laughs> disjoints like Shulk has there, oh, not gonna make it back, huh? All right, finds an up smash uh, on to Frybread to take his second stock. Uh, you know, it's still looking doable, though. It's three to three, but as I say that, there goes two second stock. Mm. Uh, all right, so they really need to find a early kill here on one of the members of blue team. But oh, and it, oh, if LC oh. dipped Loller, he would have got a tech tech opportunity. Mm -hmm. And there goes Tan Arc. Gets him with the reads. What? Uh, Street Fighter. Got it. Huh? Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Me lose Moses here, uh, just a minute. Uh, Moses has some Street Fighter to play. But, uh, Danny's gonna step in, take back over. Um, so yeah, we got, uh, Blue Team kind of taking this pretty handily the first game. Uh, I, it's not over yet, but I, I don't see this comeback happening. I guess I can't say much. I have not been paying attention <laughs> But I do know that uh, Private and LC are pretty good together because they they know how to pretty good how to space space each other out and then yep. big old disjoints. Yeah. Uh, that F smash from Lucina will take it. Jude trying his damnedest to stay in it, but that's a little tough to overcome a uh, two v one versus two big sword characters. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially, especially when, when it's yeah three stocks to one. Yeah. Well, especially with. Uh, Lucina and Shulk, they have such wide ranges. It's really mm. hard to, especially when they're both covering each corner. It's very, very hard to find an easy middle ground to be able to rack a lot of damage on both sides. At least from what I've watched in a lot of their matches. Uh, is this best of five or best of five? This is best of five. Best of five? I believe okay. so. Can I commentate? Yeah, go for yeah. it. There you go. Hello, hello. All right, so game one over to Frybread and LC pretty handily. What's the counter pick here? What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was really interesting because these guys fought in winners and it was the exact opposite. Yeah? It's very, very thorough beating. Looks like they kind of figured them out. Maybe it's just a bad uh, bad match by Tanner and Jude. Maybe they'll pull back here, but they are going to... I didn't see the stage pick, but <laughs> it looks somewhere where I don't usually see something picked. Yep, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, okay. So opting to the Omega form. Got to get the music. Oh, yeah. oh hey, look, he's playing Smash. Pretty stage. Ilya's on. Ilya, why aren't you here right now? <laughs> uh, what was really interesting last game is that very early on, Frybread just traded a stock with Tanark. Yep, I thought Frybread was going to... Uh, I thought Frybread was dead for sure, but he got that upbeat kind of throwing Fox under the stage, unable to recover. So it's just, I don't know if that was what threw him off so much, but then Frybread was just... I don't know. Yeah, it's li could be a little tilting factor, but. All right. Blue team taking center stage here. 
Uh, red team trying to fight their way out, doing so successfully. Starting off a lot more even than last game. Uh, Tanrak and Jude may be finding their footing here on this stage. I know Tanrak really likes the tri-flat layout. I mean, it's Fox. He likes oh, yeah. getting all those up airs together. Now up smash hits your platform. Oh yeah, that's such a good buff for Fox. Right? Oh. Ooh, Ooh, backslash, backslash, yep. Ooh, and fourth throw, wow. Showcase kill throws? <laughs> Nerf that. Not really, I, I just don't think that was good, yeah. All right, but up smash out of shield's gonna take it. So right. Firebred's now taking stocks. Yep, they can find a stock on Firebred, even this up. Just looking good. Still not a big deficit here. Mm -mm. But the longer Firebred stays a lot. Ooh. Speaking of Firebred losing the stock, there it goes. Tanark is just on the mark with these up smashes. It's really clean parry to get it. All right, blue team just using the giant swords to press the spaces. Spaces are kind of historically struggle with swords a little bit. Yeah, Fox, if you can get in, you know, it's, it's definitely quick enough for it, but you just got to find the right window. Mm -hmm. But when you got two people swinging swords around, it's, uh, it's a little bit harder. Wolf, and just, I just feel like Wolf in general just does bad against sword because mm -hmm. he doesn't have the speed nor like the option to get in. He has his projectile, which is really good, but other than that, yo. And that's kind of what they were uh, working with earlier, is they would get uh, the Fox with a get in, get a rapid jab, and uh, that leaves Wolf with an opportunity to come up, get some of the heavier hits. I feel like if Blue Team takes this, we might see, ooh, that was good. We might see a switch game three. Cause yeah. yeah, I think so. Jude plays Dark Samus and Mario as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually seen his Wolf play, and he's actually been doing pretty good. Wolf is like a very sheep-like character, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Lots of a just slow, powerful sheep, like still going off the forward air chain. Lots of neutral game. Mm -hmm. I smash out a shield. Snark never misses those. I'm very impressed. Oof. This definitely is not impossible. But yeah. They just took Shulk Sock. If they take um, Firebird Sock very fast, then... I foresee uh, Fox up smash coming into play here pretty quick. And <laughs> sending him off the side. All right, this game's pretty even. It just depends how long Jude can yep. hold on to his stock. Jude can just kind of play safe, look for opportunities. Uh, I honestly want to see more Shield Breaker from Frybread. Yeah. I want to say last month we, I saw that quite a bit from him. I've seen it maybe twice this whole time. I, even when I played him earlier, he didn't throw it out too often. Might just be cooling down. Mm -hmm. so it is a risky move, but I feel like Jude there was... He was holding... He, was, uh, he, he had a skittle for a shield, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, forward tilt. So 2v1. All right, back throw. Ah, too low percent. And Fox is also fast follow. Mm -hmm. And I think it was... Yeah, he's in Buster, so he's yeah. not going to get a lot of good knockback there, but... Oh, forward tilt. Oh, gonna go for the downer? Just gonna no. make it back, no. Not gonna go for anything risky. Yeah, they just play this safe, they've got this. <laughs> Fox is a very good zone breaker, but against two sorties. Ooh, nice. dead. Good patience. Oh, I was looking for a forward air there, but... Wasn't quite ready to trigger, to but... Up tilt, yep. Alright. 